beautiful sunrise for you folks as we head east on I-40 to link back up with the old Route 66. So pretty on these drives, folks. Another day and another adventure. And this morning we start in Needles, California along the historic Route 66. It's almost guaranteed that you're going to see a train on the side of these parts of the road of Route 66, but yeah, this is a old town of Needles right here. We go this way a little bit, but but, but the sun's rising. We, we got an early start today, folks. Again, as always, love sunrises. But yeah, this is uh, part of Route 66. We're about to get into Arizona today. So, new state for us, folks. So, let's go ahead and keep finding what adventures we can find on Route 66. Why don't you come along with me? Oh yeah, this is an interesting part of Route 66. You actually head right next to I-40 West because you end up actually going north and then east through Needles to get into Arizona. Oh yeah, this is definitely a marker. You should just come and see and marks the point of where this bridge marked the link between Arizona and California and opened up the Pioneer Trail into Southern California. When we cross this bridge here, that is going to be Arizona. And then over on this side where we just came from, that is California. So, the I-40 you can see in the distance there, that starts going west there and pulls into that pass in the distance there. And that's going into California. And I'll show this angle here a little bit. That's us when we go into uh, Arizona. And yeah, one of the reasons we're going into Arizona right now is because the gas is almost $2 cheaper at this gas station. Regular unleaded, only three miles away back on the California side, was $5.55 per gallon. And here it's only $3.09. So you save $2 driving three miles. If you can make it to Needles on the Route 66, you can make it to Arizona and pay a lot less in gas. And that's an all wonky pro tip for you. You're welcome. Okay folks, and this here is where the historic Route 66 begins in Arizona. Right here, just in Golden Shores. About the first exit when you get from California into Arizona, right off I-40. So from the Google Maps, it looks like we go through the desert, but then we go through um, some of those mountains there in the distance. You can see it. And um, we'll see where this road takes us and what kind of sights Route 66 has to offer. And look at this awesome dog, awesome doggo. So literally, a few hundred feet from that sign is this interesting little place with all these wooden wooden makeshift bar setups almost and all these signs saying that it's a uh, Skidwood or Skidtown yeah look at all this stuff okay and eight miles from I-40 up the Oatman Highway you come to this little area here with some signage here. This is considered the backcountry byway on the historic Route 66. Now this sign has stuff on it. If, if you want to pause the video and read what the sign has to say, go right ahead. But it's funny, on this side, this must be the windward side. Everything's just torn up. Yeah, but National Backcountry Byway. Historic Route 66, Main Street of America. Got a cool sign there. And then all this area around here, as you can see, there's some boondockers. This is all BLM land, so it's free to stay on for up to uh, two weeks in a row. 
I might even check this place out because there's a lot of random trails around here and it's uh, very close to some cool spots that would only be like an hour drive away if you stayed here. And yeah, Camp Rolla makes it. Camp Rolla could park anywhere around here. Nice. There's just some more looks at this little section of the desert drive of Route 66. Really zigzaggy here. And from what Lou was telling me, it's um, these, this Route 66, the reason it zigzags so much through like Arizona and that part of California, but mainly this part of Arizona and even in New Mexico was around here it followed old trails that followed where the water was located. So that's why it zigzags through all these parts. So just imagine like, whew, like a hundred years ago, over a hundred years ago, traveling this in either like a wagon or a car or whatever, but this, these are the trails that it followed. Old Trail. And this here is historic Oatman, Arizona right on Route 66. Um, imagine people uh, used to do this route that we've been on in something like this. And then uh, hopefully there's um, something like this along the way in these uh, little desert areas. I mean, look at, look at this. Look at the views from here. Yeah, these rock formations are great. <laughs> and then you got the little hut there, a little stone house hut. That's pretty neat. And yeah, just beautiful desert views. Oatman, Arizona. Beautiful. Yeah, this is a very interesting little town here, Oatman. A little touristy for my likes, but still kind of cool. I mean, look. All that. And you know, these little desert views around. And look at this donkey. Nice. I just want to let my viewers know that if you plan on doing historic Route 66, this section from Kingman, and then um, through this mountain road to Oatman and back to the 40. If you just stay on the 40 and want to bypass this, I understand. Look, look at this route you go on. Definitely going to be terrifying if you're on that right side of the road next to the cliff's edge in some spots. But if you love that stuff where it's steep and curvy, perfect. Let's let's go down to this little tip and see what the view looks like from there. Yeah, let's go down there. If you come to this little ridge here near the top of the mountain pass, there's a lot of different memorials set up. Yeah, here's that part of the road that's really sketchy if you're going west on Route 66. Up here near Oatman. Look at that view. Wow. This is looking west towards California. Of all the Route 66 videos I watched, none of them showed these little gnarly sections of this canyon when you go up Oatman to Still Gray's Pass. None of them showed me this part of Route 66. Beautiful, beautiful, but I must say, the roads can be terrifying, so if you're a little faint of hard of driving, just stay on the 40 instead of going through this section. But if you love it, oh, I tell you, this is exactly where you need to be. <laughs> Look at these donkeys on the road.
Hi, donkey. No, this isn't food. Hi, donkey. Hi, hi donkey. Oh, hey, donkey. You're in the road, donkey. All right, when you get over that pass, when you're going east on Route 66, getting turn around mile like 33, 34, it's not so bad, it's mostly just like this. But yeah, going over that little mountain pass there, serious business. So you may want to think before doing this little section of Route 66. Well folks, today is Sunday. February 13th, the Kingman Visitor Center of Route 66 is closed. Boo. So I guess I'll just go somewhere else. Oh yeah, folks, this is the stuff that I live for. I love finding these kind of things all over these old historic routes. <laughs>